Time now to talk winners and losers on Wall Street. Financial expert Rob Black joining us this morning. Where, Rob, we didn't get a chance to talk on Friday. The markets were like falling off a cliff that day. But this morning, everything's all up in the green by a long shot. Yeah, jobs report that showed a weakening and question mark. Will a recession follow it on Friday? Caused mm -hmm. the markets to sell off the hard landing theory. It's kind of she loves me, she loves me not with the soft landing. Right. Um, so it was on the hard side last week. Today it's a little bit back. We're clawing back some some losses. Last week we were down 4.3 percent on the S P 500. That's a pretty material drop. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, we're still up 14 percent for the year. It just doesn't feel like it in the short term. A lot of winners today: Boeing, American Express, Caterpillar. Um, September is typically a pretty tough month. So strap in because we have the election to get to and uh, a debate here or there that got, obviously could sway uh, tax policy going forward. So mm -hmm. a, a lot to digest. A lot of things to follow on that front. We're also uh, waiting with bated breath what's going to be announced today at the uh, Apple unveiling later on this morning. Any thoughts on that? What do you think is going to go on? Yeah, not a lot of wait, not a lot of bated breath. Uh, mm -hmm. It's kind of known it's going to be all about Apple intelligence um, and a new hardware cycle they're trying to kickstart. Um, the iPhone 16 uh, is going to be Apple uh, intelligence enabled. Mm -hmm. This is a bit of a risk for Apple in large part because um, in the past they've been so great about making sure their software works on everything backwards for about five years or five models or so. This time they're saying you get no AI, Apple intelligence, confusing, unless you have a new phone, the 15 or the 16. Mm -hmm. um, and the way AI works right now, whether it's OpenAI, Google, Microsoft, or right. X's Grok, is you type in a question and it goes up into the cloud and it comes back from the AI servers onto your desktop or your phone. Mm -hmm. So it's all cloud-based, so it's Wi-Fi based. So a lot of analysts are going, why do we need hardware for something that's so software driven and cloud driven? Right. And it's Apple's way of trying to get us to buy more phones. Um, Any thoughts uh, on why they're calling this it's glow time? Yeah. If you uh, ask Siri right now, if you open up your phone and you say, hey, Siri, um, mm -hmm. drive time to Cron 4 across the Bay Bridge. Um, it'll start to glow. Your Apple Siri has that little uh, icon oh. that, that has a, a glow to it. So this is about making Siri smarter is what okay. it comes down to. We'll also get some new um, AirPods and new watch, which I really am digging the watch and the health features, the Vitals app that works with it as I'm getting older. Right. I'm paying attention to how much I'm sleeping. I'm paying attention to my rest of the heart. Me too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, my, so. my wife got me for my birthday a new... Um, this was a, this a Google Watch, but it does that. It follows your sleep pattern, gives you a report in the morning. It's been really eye-opening for me. So yeah. Yeah, It's rumored this one will have a sleep apnea uh, function so that it could study if you're uh, having problems breathing at night, James. Oh, wow. Okay. I love, I love it when it goes in that direction. I think that's super cool. Uh, and then lastly, let's end on a fun note. If I say Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, what do you say? Got to say it a third time. Uh, second biggest opening ever in September, which is pretty good. Yep. Um, behind $110 million, behind only the 2017 Stephen King's It, the clown scary one. Yep. Typically, September, October are scary movie months. So this is kind of an aberration. Um, had a very, very nice weekend. Um, Reagan showing you how bad the movies are right now. Yeah. Uh, pulled in 5.1 million for a grand total of uh, 18.4 million, which is doing really, really well. Um, but there's just not a lot of the box office right now. So what is there is capturing our attention, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Um, I've had some friends see it. I'll probably see it this weekend coming up uh, because it goes back, you know, to my childhood. And uh, I think I was in high school when the first movie came out, mm -hmm. or maybe college, so somewhere around that, that right. age. So and it, was, it was quite memorable. Yeah. I mean, visually, it's just absolutely bonkers. And yeah, bonkers. same, I'll probably go see it this coming weekend, too. I just happen to be a huge Michael Keaton fan. I just love that he's back in the zeitgeist now, like knocking out of the park with everything he's doing. So I'm there. At AMC, at AMC you can buy a $25 tub of popcorn, which is a Beetlejuice gravestone. <laughs> um, I'm, strangely, I've got like two or three of these in my house now. Um, I think I got one for Jurassic Park and uh, somehow another. Did you get the Deadpool uh, one? I did not get the Deadpool one, mm. so which one was that? <laughs> All right, Rob, thank you. As always, we'll chat with Rob again tomorrow. If there's a movie you want him to talk about or a company or what, any, anything financial related, let him know. Reach out to him on social media with his handles there or email him directly at rob at robblack.com.